in Walnut Park, gas in Alabama. And this is the house that I produced, wrote, and recorded trunk music in. Right there. You seen a photo of me sitting on an empty, in an empty room next to a busted ass mattress. It was in that room right there in the cover. This is where Pop the Trunk was written. Billy Crystal Meth. Box Chevy. I was gonna take everybody around and, and show you the different houses I lived in in Gaston and the different projects that were made while I was there, but this is it. It's a trip to see my truck parked across the street long time coming as you can see box Chevy's <laughs> of inspiration as always dogs going off Trump music the birthplace crazy we're now on the corner of uh, South 11th and Peachtree. It's the corner store right there. And this is, this is the house that I produced, wrote, and recorded Creek Water. Kind of going back before Trump music. This is my boy Wayne Bush, rest in peace. Gave me five G's, street money. Got me an MPC 2000, a little 16 track recorder. And then this house right here in the back. This is a five bedroom house. It used to have a six foot barbed wire fence in front of it. My kids were just babies. And in the back there, that's where I wrote and produced Creek Water. This big ass house, five bedroom house with a two car garage was only $500 a month. And the boys used to get down over there. They was trapping all over this, all over this small town, fistful. I bounced around a lot in Gaston from east to west side, even in south side and Rainbow City. Uh, we're now in East Gaston to the last house I lived in right before I got my first record deal with Columbia. Right there. That's where we shot Box Chevy Part 2. And um, it's where I wrote Stereo, my classic rock mixtape. And up the street, right on the corner is a club now tore down. It's just a gravel parking lot, but it used to be 231. It was an Elks Lodge. And you know, Lil Wayne, Lil Bootsy would come through. This was part of the Chitlin Circuit. So, you know, if you were down to tour the Chitlin Circuit, then 231 was the stop you would hit in Gadsden. It's tore down now though, but it was right there, right up there on the corner. Right on the back side of that single wide. I mean, you can see just from the little bit that you've seen, the very blunt inspiration that I had to create this music. I mean, this place, man. Gotta love it. We're now on the corner of Tuscaloosa and 8. This old parking lot here is pretty profits. I used to park my box Chevy here. Um, pop the trunk, I had a store set up where I would sell my first clothing line, Alabama Slanguage, mesh hats, t-shirts, 
I would get my car cleaned up right here at Crazy Larry's and um, just park right here slang CDs, slang clothes and then a few years later I petitioned with the city to paint a mural across this wall right here so this is uh, Tuscaloosa in 8 and I'm about to show you the mural that I painted man like 15 years ago check it out I had to really fight to, to do this. Uh, the school is called Head Start. Uh, it's a school for youngsters. Right on the other side of this fence. But, So the piece says, love and knowledge is power. Yeah. The Dark Crystal characters, Muppet characters, characters I was inspired by as a kid. Old hand, old hand style. Man, it's all weathered now. Need to bring back some of my, some of my real graffiti writing homies and update this. Fat Albert. <laughs> ABCs with the characters. It's actually not bad, man. But this is funny though. My, my old phone number's still up. 256-547. 7643 Yellow Wolf. <laughs> oh my god. Sorry for anybody who ended up with that number. But yeah, you know, so back when, you know, nobody was bringing the graffiti scene, the hip hop scene, the skateboarding scene to Gaston, but, or to Alabama, period, really. So I'm proud of that. I'm proud that the mural's still up. No one's painted over it. So that's respect. Love, Gaston. <laughs>